Hey everybody, welcome back. So hopefully Byron's a little bit more calm. Probably not. I'll just edit out his barks. So, what do you think we should do? Sing? Eat, eat the bear. It's a great white bear. It's got the gnome hostage under its paws. You don't plan to get close <laughs> enough to touch the bear. It's you want to help the gnome, but you're just not going to risk touching the bear. All right. For the love of all that's holy, Bard, help me! Of course, now Byron's gonna whack the table the microphone's sitting on. Let's let's sing a peaceful song. And I'll throw a pail of water at it. Surprise! The bear is this aggressive. The bear doesn't appear to be killing the gnome. In fact, it almost appears as if it's teasing him. Oh. Okay. The bear doesn't appear to be killed regardless. So... We can't give it... What about the flower? Don't try to use that on the bear. Don't try to... Uh... Honey? Thinking quickly, you use the beehive and its honeycomb to distract the bear. I didn't think that would actually work. I did. The bear swats the remaining bees away and quickly eats the honeycomb before settling back down to sleep. Okay then. On top of the gnome? You discard the sticky bamboo stick. I don't deserve this kind of treatment. I'm Skelton, the gnome. I've got to go visit my cousin up in the Mira Mountains soon. Those girls are driving me nuts. Ha! Huh. And you, stay away from my treasure. Huh. Those two girls are right. What a rude little gnome. Not even a thank you for saving his life. Yeah, jeez. You don't plan to get close enough to touch the bear. It's a great white bear. Okay, uh, any roses about? So I wonder what the point of that was. To make the gnome go away, so now you can access his treasure? There are many beautiful flowers and exotic plants in the fairy kingdom. You can't take these flowers. Why not? You can't... You can't take these flowers. Okay, you so... There. Let's go back and take his treasure again? Because that's what happens if you tell people you're leaving town. Your stuff gets stolen. I'm guessing that's what's going to happen, because he's just running right up there. The hole in the tree. See, no way. Oh, no. Are we going to die? <laughs> like, no, you saved me. Okay, take it. I knew you'd try again. I'm not stupid, you know. <laughs> I was always going to take my treasure with me when I left. <laughs> I'm truly sorry, Gnome. I didn't mean to. Yes, we did. Make your peace with whatever god you worship, Bard. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, they're getting closer, so something different's gonna happen Little this time. sir, it seems you don't have any good in your soul after all. We've tried to help you and bring out some inner goodness, oh, but, but it's to no avail. And now you're going to kill this lovely young man just because he found your stolen treasure? And after he saved you from the bear, you try to lure him into killing us. It's time you learn some manners, little uh -oh. sir. Fisty cuffs. <laughs> and you're going to teach me, lass? Yes, we are. Turn into a dragon. Wind, water, and elements among us. Turn this greed and malice into a fungus. <laughs> ah! Oh no. Look, a purple there, mushroom. That'll brighten this corner of the woods nicely. It seems I'm in your debt, ladies. You saved my life. There is no debt, Finn. It was our pleasure. Uh, what about him? Uh, will he stay a mushroom for, uh, forever? Oh no, it'll wear off eventually. When he's learned his lesson. Uh-oh. Well, that's good to know. Good luck in your quest, Finn. I do hope it's you who finds the queen if it's not us. Thank you, ladies. Best of luck to you. 
Goodbye. Well, aren't we a thief? We're like stealing this guy's treasure. No, we're a bard, although they're sometimes synonymous. Uh oh, Byron's up and moving again. Now that the ornery gnome is a mushroom, you don't suppose he'll need the treasure. So you take it. <gasps> you thief! Considering he stole this anyway, I think I could find a better use for this treasure. Byron, please don't bark. Please don't make me have to edit. It's that nasty little gnome. Or what's left of him after Snowy and Red finished with him. Quite deserved, too, in your opinion. Best leave the former gnome current mushroom <laughs> alone for now. Alright, so what did we get? That gnome certainly collected a large amount. Oh, I know what to do with this treasure. Give it to the king? Bribe him for knowledge on the queen? <laughs> no, give it to the, the troll. Oh. Are you just trolling me now? <laughs> it o- It o- You could- I'm trying. It almost looks like it o it o that di that it o game that didn't I think the other side that was that didn't higher so you could jump across I don't okay. know if you can jump this way I can't it looks like that di I'll go around Byron please be good sweetie that's like I do what I want I'm a dachshund. I guess he wants to get back up on the couch now. I keep wanting to plant this here. You can't do anything with that. Okay. Bonk. Bonk. See, I'll just run into the table. See how you like them apples. Oh, you know what? Should Hold on. Before we do anything, let's... um. Byron, you can't come up here this way. <laughs> Why not? Something we're doing? Let's do it. Hold on a second. Helper's trying to get Byron so he can be even closer to the microphone when he cries. <laughs> yeah, you gonna be good now, buddy? Nobody. Did you get it out of your system? Whatever was upsetting you so. Come in, lad. Okay, let's try taking this empty jar now. What could I trade you? Hmm. I've never heard of a. a real much that sounds easy. I've got some help. Okay, sorry. I was hoping I could just talk to him, but I guess I could give it to him. Shopkeeper, I have the mushroom you asked for. Ah, uh, thank you, young bard. Please, take the jar in payment. Much appreciated, shopkeeper. Thank you, shopkeeper. You're quite welcome, young bard. Okay. Um, so now I want to go... I didn't know if I was going to need the jar after I crossed the bridge, and since we were already at town, I thought I'd go ahead and get the jar. Hmm. Should we maybe, need water? Yeah, maybe you need water so you can plant the that flower. Doesn't seem make to it so it's not wilting. That. Oh. Or put the flower in the jar to make it so it's not wilting. Well, let's. Um. He won't get the water from the. F oh, hello. I still don't know how that happens. Like I keep teleporting. You're magical. Can I get it from the river? You can't fill the jar with a liquid. The lid doesn't seal tight enough, and it would slosh out in your pockets. Okay. So you want me to put the. That doesn't do. Those two things don't go together. Uh, it was worth it. Oh, you know what? I bet the potion's gonna go in it. Oh. Anyways. Save here. Oh, goat. Let's see, would you like some treasure? You hand the treasure to the troll. Who seems pleased with your offering? Now give me more treasure. <laughs> <laughs> he does seem happy. Sweet. There better be roses over here, because I don't know what to do otherwise. Oh. As you enter this magical clearing, you see a pretty young lady. Could it be? Is this the queen? Hello there. I'm Finn, and it's a great pleasure to meet you. Ah, are you the queen, hidden away here? Wait, seriously? Bard, it's wonderful to see you again. Before you can say anything, Fowlin grabs the girl's hand and runs off. Looks like I found the queen first, Bard. Don't bother coming back. I'll tell them I found her by myself. Your majesty, you're so lucky I found you. Like the time I, Fowlin, the hero. 
As they leave, the girl turns her head and smiles at you. I get the feeling that's not the queen. I should tell you the story of how I defeated Lord Sinister on our journey back to the court. Yeah, you do that. As you walk sideways. Backwards. Oh well, you may as well head back to town for the reward ceremony. No, we're not done yet. I need this rose. You need 12. Bending Full bouquet. Down, you pick a single beautiful rose from among the flower. Okay. Hold on. The stone formation is certainly strange. It doesn't look chiseled or formed by a person, so you can only assume it's one of nature's strange wonders. It would probably be a really nice and peaceful place to sit and compose some music, but you don't have the time right now. Check your watch then. <laughs> You've seen a few of these pillars around the fairy realm. They usually mark the borders of the kingdom. You can't move the pillars <laughs> from their location. Okay. The aspects of the forest gods would be angry. So we need to somehow get to the potion shop without uh, triggering anything else. Because now we need to give her the rose and we need to sing her the song. And I'm betting we need to get the potion. So I'm guessing here. We're going to get the potion of restoration or healing and go into the swamp somehow and fix the guy up. Because he's probably going to be so enamored by the fact that Glinda likes him he's going to leave his post. Hello, Chucker. Oh. Uh... Why aren't you at the ceremony? What ceremony? Well, Baolin found the queen. Oh, he didn't find the queen. He thought it was her, but it turns out it's Elka the barmaid's daughter, Arde. Oh my. <laughs> That's nice, though. Yeah, Elka was so happy. But Feolin wasn't as much. He's been drinking in a tavern ever since. So, the queen is still out there? Yeah, she sure is. No, I'm sure I'm not finding her. <laughs> I don't know. I think she's right here. Yes. That's why we need the, the spell potion, right? Yeah. All right. So um, I'm going to go talk to him after I do the potion shop. All right. Let's give her the rose first. You, should we sing or give her the rose first? Uh, rose first. Get her attention. You hand the rose to Glenda. Ted asked me to give you this rose. It symbolizes his love for you. Pure and beautiful. Oh my! This... This is beautiful! Ted is such a romantic. She looks off with a sigh and a wistful gaze in her eyes. <sighs> I don't think roses are all that beautiful. I, I think lilies are pretty. It's the thorns. They... They... Hurt. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do this more interesting. Let's sing the love song. <laughs> Blue, red, come on, yellow, blue. Down. Here? Yes. Right. And top left somewhere? Down one? That wasn't right. Oops. No, it was at oh. the top. Ted feels so much, but has a hard time saying it. So, together, we wrote this song to express how we feel yeah, about you. Yeah, together. He hopes you like it. I probably won't be doing that again. I'm not very good at Simon, obviously. You didn't know what he says? What a beautiful song! And my Ted wrote that for me? Oh, I just she possessed it all of a sudden. Told me to. Thank you, Bard. That was most beautiful. I must go and see him at once. Thank Wait. you, Finn, for all your help. I know Ted would be reluctant to tell me in person how he feels. I'm glad you helped him. I'll tell him how I feel. No, wait, the potion! Come back! Too late. Well, Just the ran... game said I can't get into an unwinnable situation. Just ransack her shop. Wanda sighs wistfully and exits the shop, full of love and hope. Good luck, Glenda and Ted. <laughs> My work here is done. It's good to be a bard. Okay. Steal her stuff. You're an op various. Op so, yeah, I didn't mind Simon until I played World of Warcraft and in Outland, the original Outland, like doing quests for like an, a tribe. 
you had to play a game of Simon, and it was a daily quest, and I did it every day, like, two times, like, you had to do it, like, a whole bunch of times every day to get, like, crystals or something? Oh my god. Ever since then, I just, I can't stand the game of Simon. <laughs> You enter the tavern. Look how it tells us you enter the tavern. I want to talk to you about this. Hey there, why so glum? I thought I had the queen. Turns out it was just the tavern owner's daughter. I'm sorry. Gave it an honest try. The challenge isn't over. Yes, it is. For me. I thought the queen was surely posing as her daughter. I was wrong, though. I can't get anything right. Why do you say that? Cupping his hand around his mouth so only you can hear I him. Need to kill Sinister. His eyes get intense as he leans in to whisper. I love you. I'm a fraud. I never defeated Lord Sinister. Really? When I reached his stronghold and we fought to the inner sanctum, he was in the midst of doing some kind of arcane ritual. I was scared. I faltered. When he moved to attack me, suddenly he disappeared, as if sucked out of the room by magic. He shrieked and screamed and cried something about, this isn't Avalon, and then he was gone. The rest of the men came in and assumed I killed him, as his cloak and armor were left behind. And I didn't correct them. Please keep my secret, Finn. Please. I'm a bard. Of course. It wouldn't do anyone any good for me to tell people. Someday, you will have to, though. I know. And that will take real courage. I hope I find that. Me too. If you really want to know about Lord Sinister, ask Brother Kunshin at the monastery. He can tell you anything you'd need to know. Interesting. Actually, I'm kind of tempted to do that. I know Helper's not big into me, like, talking to every single person about every single thing. This is the to steal. The door is locked. We, uh, we actually tried playing another game. What was it? Um, it was more like Hero's Quest. Heroine's Quest, I think is what it's called. Uh, besides the recording problems we were having, he just got so bored with the game because there was so much talking. Um, but that's what I like about some of these adventure games. Like, when you want to replay them, like, especially Hero's Quest, or Quest for Glory, sorry. Um, you can skip a lot of the dialogue after you play it the first time. You can just play the game. You don't need to have all the dialogue. You already know what's going on. Um, I think Heroine's Quest was like that. This one, it seems like you have to talk to people. So I'm thinking about what I want to do. Well, we need to talk to the... Okay, let's go back and talk to the people at the swamp, but I don't remember how we got there. Left? Left? Left. Did this switch just turn off? Mm, looks like the TV. Oh, no, the just... switch. So I was playing Skyrim on the switch before we started recording. North? So... We can only go this way. I know we came... North again? No, that's where the fairy, the pixies are. Can I go oh, south? Okay, I guess I have to go back left then. When you touch the crystal... That's nice, that's not what I wanted. You quickly brush... I know we came... Ah, here we go. Oh. And then... Are they north? Okay. Yes. Where did they go? Now Ted's gone, I suppose I can help you. If you still want to go into the swamp. Oh no, I need my potion! Yes, I do. Did I mess up? Never, never no, wear not. swim trunks wet. Uh, hold on. That doesn't make any sense. People think I'm crazy, you know, but I say my brain just works differently from theirs. Well, thanks, Turtle. <laughs> I will keep that in mind. Careful of the raptors in there. If you still insist on going into the swamp, some of them will just attack you straight away. But some are a bit more cautious. If you get a chance, try playing the song of the turtle for them. It calms them down. I don't know that song, turtle. <laughs> Not a very good bard, are you? Uh, never mind, I'll teach it to you. It's quite simple. The turtle teaches you the song of the turtle. You also might want to try finding old Yama Uba while you're in the swamp there. <laughs> she has a hut somewhere to the north. She's very wise, but mind your manners with her. Turn you into a frog and eat you. What is this, Baba Yaga? 
You oh, see some Papa. fish just <laughs> below the surface of this peaceful lake. So you expect the fishermen are going to have a good catch. You see some... You see... Swarm. You decide to enter the swamp. But then so, change your mind. Now there's nothing I could say. Be oh, careful. He, he's already said that. Um, I'm just... Ooh, okay, hold on. That's a raptor. No, we don't want... <laughs> Can you write it? I hope this song is as good as the turtle says it is. You see the raptor visibly calm as you play the song of the turtle. Calm. I... <sighs> A rather large thorn-covered <sighs> root is curled near the swamp path. I'm bothered you by the fact that- You rip your hand open trying to take a piece of that. I'm bothered by the fact that I don't have the potion. I feel like I'm gonna need it in here. Creepy. The raptor is just watching you. It's a really fat raptor. You have no desire to touch a raptor, and they certainly can't talk to you. This old tree has fallen on <laughs> hard times. <laughs> Get it? Fallen? <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. There's nothing you can do with the old log. Guess we'll go further in. So the dispel potions for the very end of the game, right? I assumed that we were gonna need it to help the knight, because he's probably hurt. Sloth? These little guys are called sloths and are quite unfriendly when awakened. You don't know much else about them, really. They aren't something you're keen on putting your hand near. A small pool of fresh water seems to flow from under the huge rock that blocks all further passage into the swamp. You can't dive into the water with those sloths sleeping right there. You know, it's funny, I don't know why I'm bothering to see my game so much, because I don't know if I can die or not. Uh -oh. Okay, that's kind of scary. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask someone about these things because I have no idea what they are. Oh, like the library person. Oh, Can you go left, up north. That, that didn't a that didn't a. Uh, I guess not. That did. I think what he meant was I'm supposed to. He goes, I can't dive into that water with them there. So I'm guessing. Uh. I'm guessing, um... There's definitely a large monster in there. Scary looking big old lizardy things, eh? And what were those creatures? You mean the fuzzy balls of razor blade madness? You might say that. <laughs> Try to warn you, sonny boy. You ain't gonna get far with them blocking your way. And what about the napping fuzzy death machines? I don't really know. I've just avoided them my whole life. You'd better talk to someone who knows Wait. more than me. Marion, you're a turtle. Well, we turtles know almost everything. Now I get to stress the almost part. Go see Elder, that town librarian. He's a smart little guy. Oh, helper already beat you to it. Marion. Marion the librarian. Okay. Because we we're in trouble. Which starts with T, which rhymes with T, which stands for pool. So, oh, you know what? I forgot we need to find that harp in the swamp. Which is funny because I don't know if we really need our songbook by this point. It's sentimental value. It has sentimental value. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping that Glinda is back at the potion shop. That rainbow's always there, isn't it? Why, yes. It's always a gorgeous day in the fairy kingdom. <laughs> It makes me want to play Suikoden in one. Although I already started a game and I'm trying to beat the game with like um, really low, like all the terrible characters, like the chef and the bath guy and everything. <laughs> I'll see if I can beat the game with them. Oh, good, they're here. Ted looks incredibly happy. Well, as happy as Ted <laughs> can look. He's an introvert. You look happy, Ted. Aye. I'm happy I could help. I don't say much, but I will say thank you, Finn. You're a good lad. Okay. Can oh. I give her the fruit? What? Now, I'm a fisherman, Gordon. Here's some fish sticks. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Finn. 
I can use this in my potions. I really appreciate it. No problem. To be honest, it's hard to carry it around. What was the other thing she wanted? Um, berries? Yule, Yule, Hello, Yule dear fairies? Finn. How can we... What can you... Potions are... They can heal the sick. What can you... Well, I don't have any of my own made right now. You I'd also choose. need a large piece of fruit. Goodbye. Farewell, Finn. Okay, so we don't have the juice. We need to figure out how to make that tree happy. Yeah, yeah! Hmm... My only guess by this point is, um... I feel like the flower is something we need to do. Maybe the pixies, once we get the, the heart back, the pixies will fix the... thing? I don't know. Maybe the- Come in. Oh. What am I- No, I don't want to talk to you. I guess we'll talk to Black Brain and probably stop after that. Okay, never talk about the brother. Is there anything I can help you Sinister. with today? Oh, you're right. Librarian, I believe I could use your help. Oh? What can I do for you? I saw several very strange creatures in the swamp on my travels. My, oh my! You must have seen some raptors or maybe some sloths. I think so. I'm not sure, though. Well, raptors are big lizard-like creatures, and sloths are basically razor blades covered in a round mass of matted fur. Yes, those are what I saw. Well, tell me about the raptor first. I was looking for the queen in there, and I saw one, standing dead still and staring at me. Yes, that's typical behavior for the female of the species. I have a book about them. I may be able to find some more information about them. Follow me. The librarian pulls a book from the shelf and starts reading. Ah, yes, they can be strange creatures. Their main diet is chicken, or things that taste like chicken, <laughs> chicken which, soup? as you know, is most oh. anything. <laughs> Raptors and sloths are natural enemies. <laughs> Raptors love to eat <gasps> sloths. They taste like chicken? Oh, yes. Especially if you batter coat them and deep fry Ew. them in oil. Delicious. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. So, raptors hate sloths and will eat them? Yes. Both male and female raptors will attack them. The females are less dangerous than the males. They stand rigid when spotted, although they don't tend to attack people. They have been known to attack smaller animals, though. The males are the patrollers and sentries. They patrol their hunting grounds, and if they run across a potential predator, they knock them out with their massive front legs. Yikes. Indeed. Now, both male and female raptors look the same, so you won't be able to tell the difference by sight. My advice would be to avoid them if possible. That's about all I can help you with there. I hope it's of use. Got it. Try to avoid them, and they're like chicken, ooh, but hate sloths. Who taste like chicken? Right. Well, sounds good to me. Thank you again. So... My pleasure. Mm, Knowledge is power, you know. Chicken soup for the soul, of Goodbye, course. Goodbye, No! We need to go get the chicken soup and throw it on the sloths, I'm guessing. I'm gonna make the trail towards the sloths. I don't know what he's gonna want for this Come soup. Come in, lad. That didn't work. Could I have that soup? Oh no, that's my lunch. Why would you want it? I know that raptors go crazy for chicken, and it's possible in my adventures I'll come across a raptor and need to pacify it. Well, it's a rather strange request, I suppose. But the king did command we assist challengers if we could. Here you go. Please take it with my compliments. No trade necessary. I've got some housekeeping to do, bud. Tell me if anything catches your eye. I can't believe he just gave us the soup. I expected some, like, ridiculous thing like, sing me a song. Of love and friendship you and You startled terror. the bird. Oh, I startled the bird and it takes flight. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and make... Oh, you know, that you wanted to talk to the monoth... They got the monastery, didn't you? Uh, you had mentioned that you wanted to. Do you want to do that now, or in you the video? Enter no, it's fine. Okay. We're already here. Good to see you, young Finn. Tell me of Lord Sinister, please. He's Sinister evil. was a powerful enemy of ours. He sought power beyond the means of this world, and paid dearly for it. So did the rest of you here. It was lucky he was stopped before more damage took place. You see, Finn, the Order has been here for countless years, 
And in protecting the land and its people, we protect something greater as well. It goes back long ago to what most consider myth now, and the story of Arcturus. Yes, of course. I've heard tales and songs from my father. Arcturus. We at the Order consider it among our highest priorities to preserve the story of Arcturus. <laughs> Tell me of Arcturus. Over a millennia ago, Yuya was a young world. So much chaos and strife. The people were divided into many warring factions. The people of different lands were distrustful of each other. Many were greedy for what others had. One day though, out of the mists of the north, there came a simple man. You're blocking him. He could not say where he came from. He only carried with him what appeared to be a simple sword. But somehow, amnesia. he gathered people <laughs> to his banners. The greatest warriors of many nations began to follow him. Amnesia. <laughs> and after the final bloodshed, Arcturus and his twelve knights declared war to be over between all the great nations of Yu-Year. Arcturus and his men built a great castle at Mor Cleom, and it was there that he founded the Order of the Thorn. Wait, what's the story about again? I thought we asked about Lord Sinister. No, we asked about Arcturus. Oh. Tell me of the creation of the Order. Arcturus knew that the kingdoms of yu -Yir would always need a common ally, a group that would watch out for all and promote the best interest of the people. He did not wish to rule yu -Yir at Morcleom, as he said he'd seen what that could rot before. But he did wish to provide protection, solace, and wisdom. The Order was his creation. A group of knights and monks with loyalty to all and to the code of conduct that the Order held themselves to. I heard him say that they brought Solus, the elf. <laughs> Arcturus' banner was a sword entwined by a vine with thorns, and those who flocked to his banner adopted it as their standard too. It was only logical to the Founding Fathers of the Order to call themselves the Thorn. Soon, monasteries and great halls of the Order of the Thorn spread across Uyir, some even reaching the highest peaks of the Mirror Mountains. And in all those years, we have remained as a beacon of good for the people of Uyir. Hmm. He died. What Just happened to Arcturus? Well, Arcturus, as shrouded in mystery as his origins were, was still just a man. He aged, but continued to stay and serve for many years. It is regarded as myth by most now. But our official documents trace over 200 years that Arcturus stayed with us. Wow. Yet even as he grew older, his vitality remained unimpeachable. One day, though, he said that his time here was past due and that he needed to leave. He went out into the desert. <laughs> he the walked out of the castle at Morcleom <laughs> and was never seen again. Years later, a letter was found, written from him to his first commander, Regent. In it, he explained that he had to return to a place called Avalon <sighs> to take the boat home, as he put it. Many have searched for Avalon, but it is no place that we know of. Hmm. So is that his cloak we took? <laughs> Tell me of Avalon. Avalon is a mystery to the Order. Even after all these years, we've had many adventurers and scholars search for and study, but nothing could ever be found. Sinister, in fact, was a student of the Order, 
who went mad searching for it. It is said he became obsessed with it and the power it afforded Arcturus. This is the reason he began scouring Uyr and destroying villages and cities. He was convinced Arcturus hid the secret of Avalon somewhere in the realm. Interesting. <laughs> he used his power, his charm, and his wit to subvert many and convince them to flock to his cause. He would tear Uyr apart with the aim of finding the secret of Avalon. And he promised a better world for all with its discovery. But all he brought was strife, death, and destruction. <laughs> the world was torn asunder for a time, but now, thankfully, we have peace. You know what they say, history is written by the victors. Yeah. That was actually really interesting because Goodbye. I like Best it. to you, Thin um, the Bard. I really like it when the enemies of games aren't as evil as they seem at the beginning. Um, like, he started out what we would, what most people in this place would probably consider good, being with the Order and all. But he became so obsessed with trying to find the leader of the original Order that he didn't, he was so blinded by it. He thought he was doing good. I, I always like those. I think that's one reason I like the Artanelico series so much. It also reminds me that the Gundam anime series, most people, they're so really true, truly bad people. There's just different shades of grades, everyone with their own motivations. Yeah. Because I, I, I don't really believe in like true good and evil. So I like it when, when um, I play games that don't do that because it's just, it annoys me when they're like, he was evil, and I'm like, ugh. You can tell by his evil stamp on his forehead. Yeah. Okay. I think this is a good place to uh, stop. stop for now, and we'll see you guys next time when we do something with this chicken soup, probably. Bye for now. Goodbye.